want to work for me? A lot. Okay. You are going to have to tell me what sets you apart from the rest of the crew. And these are gamers. They sometimes think they're professional. But I want to know what would set you apart from every other candidate out there that is banging down my door? Well, it's, I feel that not only do I want the job, I deserve it. Because it takes a type of audacity to want to work at this type of store. And I have every intention to get this job. Okay, and do you feel like you're going to benefit my location in some other manner that nobody else can do? I feel like that I will be a great benefit for your location because I'll be able to pump up everyone and get sales up and keep everything going. You're going to get sales up. How are you going to get sales up within the store? As you just read, my passion for video games is intense. I intend to shine through with that passion towards everyone who comes through those doors. I want them to try and love games as much as I do. The but moment you can't they walk force out. them to buy games. True. So you but gotta, you you can't you you gotta have a balance. You can't true. be too overbearing. So how, how do you how do you move product or traffic out, out of the games out of the store? Well, what, what is your what is your serious your serious attack for, plan of attack for that? I feel that when some people come through those doors, they don't even know what kind of game they want. And it's at my duty as a game advisor to help them find what they want. So games that they'll love and games they'll play for years to come. And by connecting with them, I will make sure that they will get a game that will fit their preferences and they will play it forever and ever and they will come back for more. A 10 year old wants to buy GTA 5. <laughs> well that is something I will not allow because rated M games are not meant for kids and there are plenty of other good games out there like Minecraft or uh, Samurai Warriors and games that aren't so violently focused. So, the 10 year old has a parent. How do you feel about ringing up this 10 year old and the parent that says, yeah, you're 10, you can have it. Well, I'll be very subtle when talking to them. It's like, are you sure you want to get this? There's some other good games over here that I'm positive your child will love, and they're cheaper. Okay. Would you consider asking them if they're familiar with this this video game before I feel you it's let them know they're stupid? I feel it's my duty to ask them because some parents don't actually actively research what their kids are doing, and I feel that sadly that's part of the reason why today's killed children are so corrupt. <laughs> How much, alright, this is my final question, you can, video games cause violence, cause suicide, cause abortion, pregnancy, I mean, it's <laughs> all the damn video games. It, I mean, do you see this, do you agree with this? This is what the mainstream media is saying. I do not agree with it one bit. How do you combat that? I, I want to hear why you, I mean, t attack that. The media focuses so much on negative aspects, but video games can also be productive. They teach us skills uh, like uh, constructive uh, building. Uh, okay, in a, in a real world situation, in a real you're going to you're gonna have to belt that out because yeah. I got to be able to buy this stuff you're saying right now. So you're going you to belt that out. I mean, it's good. You have that down. All right, let me open this up to the floor. I'm coaching him. It's cute. All right, Jasmine. So at uh, GameStop, there's new and used, correct? Yes. Okay, so how how well do you think you can upsell? You know, for example, there's this used game for ten dollars, but I also have a new one for thirty. Or you know, this kid came in here for a PS One, but we also have PS Three. So how do you think you will be able to make more money by upselling the items? Well, uh, unfortunately, when a game comes in, even if it's only been used for one day, it's used. But I we'll want them to have the best quality, and Sometimes I will sell them the used because customer satisfaction is our number one priority. But I will offer the new copy as well as an alternative. Oh, come on, my gamers. What? 
Well, that, what would you do or how would you respond to an angry customer if you referred a game to them and maybe it wasn't exactly how you described it to them and, and they're coming at you like they want to... Guns, please. Yeah, yeah, they want to punch you in the face. How would, how would you... Unfortunately, I feel that it is my duty to sit there and take it for a while because it was my fault that I recommended something that they did not completely like. And I will try to work with them in helping them find another product that they might enjoy even more. All right, now, question. In order to not mislead anyone, what do you refer to? You refer to your own experience? Or their do you actually have hard evidence from the producers and the writers and the creators of this game that you can give to these people? Uh, not only do I go off my own preferences and experience, I also uh, talk with my peers and my friends and colleagues and how they enjoyed the game. I check credit websites for their ratings and I do extensive research on a lot of games and I feel that while my opinion might not always be the best one, I could always refer them to other opinions where it's like, oh, Metacritic says this is a very good game and that you should get it. However, it might not actually be a good game because this is better. Okay, that's good. Because sometimes Metacritic lies. Yeah, but the, the good thing is that you got it totally off. I mean, you didn't just focus on you, you actually, okay, that's good. Okay. Um, what video game hero would you compare yourself to and what strengths do you share with that character? <laughs> well, I wouldn't call myself a video game hero. I'm not that audacious, but if I had to call myself one, I would have to choose one of my more favorite ones, uh, Ratchet from the Ratchet and Clank series. It's a pretty old game series, but the main character is always constructive and inventive, and he always gets what he wants. Where do you intend to go with my company? As far as it can get. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you got to be more specific than that. You want to you're already, aim yeah. for the top. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you, you, you actually know who the CEO is, the name of the CEO. So you would have to sit here and say that that's what you would want to do. If that's how you feel. All right, what are your, what are your strengths and weaknesses? You are so young. That, what are your strengths and weaknesses? And then, I'm sorry, does somebody else have? I'm just like taking over. <laughs> Awesome. Well, my strengths, I feel, are, well, my energy. No I'm definitely, <laughs> okay. I definitely have a passion for this, and I want to work in this industry so I can share that passion. A passion or addiction? I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> One of my strengths is also the addiction towards it, and I will oh, work. See, you took a spin on that. You're really witty. They're, they're good. <laughs> <laughs> you actually took that, and you owned it. Who else has some questions? Come on. All right. How many hours a week would you say you spend gaming? Oh, that's good. An unhealthy amount. <laughs> 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 Got to make sure that it's good quality. You're, you're supposed to say this is a trick. This is a trick question. Here, what's the right answer? No. All right. Um, I don't want my son playing Minecraft because uh, he spent a lot of time for this. Now persuade me why I have to buy your product. Ooh. Mm. Because um, while, while video games might be seen as time wasters, they can build uh, skills like problem solving or uh, creativity and stuff like that. Stuff like that doesn't work. Damn. And and look at who you're talking to. That you got to sell her. <laughs> stuff like that. Stuff like that. No. <laughs> stuff like that. Get that out. Stuff like that doesn't exist. You you went well with the whole creativity and building, you know, and problem solving down. skills, and then you, you yeah. said stuff. Yeah, don't don't sell yourself short, and don't be afraid to stop when you feel that you've said enough. You know, don't don't try to overextend yourself because you have a really good foundation in this area. All right, anybody else? Last last yes. shot at them. Uh, video game prices are a big concern for parents. Um, what's your approach to parents and probably teenagers as well? Well, I would approach them with used games because, like I said earlier, unfortunately, when a game is used, brought or new and just used for only one day, it is used, but the the pro uh, quality of the product does not drop at all. 
and those can be ten to twenty dollars cheaper. But what happens to all the stock we get? All the new stock. The new stock? Are we just going to leave it on our shelves? New stock is uh, purchased by, unfortunately, those who have the money to get it. Not unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> if you're going to be the CEO, you want them to spend money. Yes. You're the owner, sir. You want money being spent. You want them to buy the PS4. But I also want people. customer satisfaction. <laughs> and now, money at the end of the day. I have I just I, I had to ask this because how important is it to sales associates to push that what is that incentive card thing? Rewards? That, Upsell? Yeah. What, the rewards card? Whatever dang thing I got all caught up in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The one that is uh, hoard out a lot. Sorry. Remember the that? one that everybody is, you got to do this and you got to do that, and, and then I get emails every day, three times a day. What, how important is that to push that in a game? I mean, in a real game, in your in your experience. Well, it it improves customer loyalty, so they'll come back for more, and the more they purchase at our store, the more uh, in-store credit they get, so they can get some stuff for free and or really cheap. I guess I don't understand the incentive part of it. I, I mean, I have yet to. I mean, I don't I don't know why. I, usually, when you get part of an incentive program, you feel good about it. But I I don't feel good about all these emails, and I, I don't understand it all. So. You guys need to do a better job of explaining to people like me, mother of a 10-year-old, why I need to do this incentive program. Can you fix that within the store? I'm just, I'm I would have to talk to Matt. <laughs> He's like, Jesus, am I going to ever get out of here? <laughs> right, I'm just picking on you because you're young. All right, give him a hand. He did good.